but I've realised that that doesn't make me innocent. See, if I hadn't have been born, then I wouldn't have been able to drive them. And your, and your Thomas would still be alive. So that's a kind of guilt. It's not guilt to guilt. It's more of an innocent guilt. But it's still a guilt all the same. And I'd rather go for five and a half years thinking like that than five and a half years thinking that I'm innocent. I'm really sorry, Mrs. Ward. I'm really, really sorry. Do you believe him? Is that what you'd do then, in my position? Why not? You'd give him the name of a client. She hasn't even paid him yet, she's used you. Is that all that matters then? The money? The tab at the end of the day? To do this for the love of it, do you? For the glamour? What, lurking around bus shelters, knocking on doors, come on? No, oh, you come on. There must be something you wouldn't do, just for the money. Possibly. But covering for someone who's made a complete and utter bloody fool of me certainly isn't one of them. You can't even leave work alone for five minutes, can you, even at a time like this? No, no I've got a very sick patient. You had a very sick mother. Oh, Teresa, don't start. Oh, but she didn't complain, did she? No, because your job's so important, isn't it? I mean, doctors are second to God, whereas Frank and I, I mean, we only had our business to run so we could drop everything at a minute's notice. It's not my fault. I told you to stay in bed! Is this your family? Yes, that's them. My husband and my son. How are they now? Here, take this. It'll help. They're working on a fishing boat at the minute. They've been gone a couple of months now. Right, come on, let's get you to bed. Oh no. I think you've got a temperature. I've got a what? Could be something worse. I'd better call the doctor. No, you have to promise me you'll 